this video tutorial I will explain how to update the cache content. Here you can see pom.xml. Here I have defined spring dependencies and eh cache dependencies. Here you can see ehcache.xml. In this file, we can do caching configuration for individual cache items. Here we have configured products cache. Maximum 100 products can be kept in the memory and maximum 1000 products can be maintained in the disk store. If the product is ideal for more than 300 seconds or 5 minutes, the product will be expired. And if the product lives more than 600 seconds or 10 minutes, then the product will be expired. Here I have defined a class uh, appconfig. It is a configuration class. Spring container read this uh, configuration class and it creates uh, eh cache manager factory bean object based on uh, eh cache.xml configuration and also it creates a cache manager object in app config class i have applied at enable caching annotation to enable the caching support in the spring application here i have defined a class product it has two properties name and price Here I have defined the interface uh, product service. It has uh, three abstract methods get by name, refresh all products, and uh, update product. Here I have defined the class uh, product service impl, which implements uh, product service interface and provide implementation of uh, these methods. Here I have defined the products which is a list of uh, product and uh, inside static block I am calling uh, get dummy products method and uh, this method will be called and uh, this products contains list of uh, all the products in get by name method I have applied uh, at cacheable annotation and uh, cache name is products and uh, key of the cache is name of the product name can be led tv or phone or fridge and here we have put one condition if name of the product is phone then do not store it in the cache and whenever we call this get by name method first time this method will be executed and the result will be stored in the cache and for the further calls it won't execute this method and it will get the product object from uh, this cache based on uh, the key value and uh, return to the caller so it improves the performance in uh, refresh all products method i have applied uh, cache effect annotation so whenever we call this method all the products in the products cache will be removed in update product method, I have applied cache put annotation. The cache name is products and key is product name. And whenever we call this method, the cache will be updated with the past product object based on the key value. Here you can see the nodes related to cacheable, cache effect, and cache put annotations. You can just read that.
here I am calling uh, get by name method and passing the product name as uh, LED TV. So first time it will uh, execute this method and uh, result will be put it in the cache. And for further calls it won't even execute the method. It will uh, get the result from the cache. Then I am calling uh, get by name. I am passing a product name as phone. Here we have put the condition don't store the phone product in the cache. So every time it will execute this method. Here I have created the product object and changing the price to 550. The price was 500. Here I have changed to 550. Then I am calling update product method and changing the price. The price has been changed in the cache. And here you can see the price is changed from 500 to 550. Then I am calling uh, refresh all products method. This method remove all the products from the cache. Then again I am calling uh, get by name and passing the product name as LED TV. So this method will be executed one time because uh, we have cleared the cache. Further calls it will get from the cache. You can get uh, Java source code link from the description of the video. In mobile, to see the description, click on uh, this icon. It will expand like this and uh, here you can see the description. It contains uh, Java source code links. Click on these links to get the Java source code.